And this is going to be the subject of an upcoming webinar that Quality Digest is hosting uh, next week. And here to talk about this particular issue is Dean uh, Antonakis, CEO of Unipoint. Hello, Dean. Hi, Derek. Hi, Mike. Thank you for having me today. Hey, sure. How are you, so Dean? So tell us when, when typically we think of uh, the quality department, as I just as I just mentioned, we we look at it as a as a cost center versus cost saving center. Uh, what does that mean to you? Sure. Well, it, like you were just talking about with with micromanagement, it all comes down to the management of your quality records. Um, and what our tool offers, and we have over a thousand customers using it throughout North America, is a way for your quality department to micromanage your quality events. Uh, and micromanage those events, not just in terms of the frequency of your quality, uh, scrap, rework, non-conformances, corrective actions, but also manage the cost, the total administrative cost. So as these events unfold, and as we manage the life cycle of each event, so for instance, a non-conformance is originated, investigated, there's a disposition, it's completed, it's closed. We put every record through a life cycle. And we cost every stage. We spent an hour on the origination. We spent a half an hour on the investigation. And we're tracking even salary people uh, that are posting time against these records. So not just the cost of scrap and rework, but the, cast, the cost of your quality manager's time, your plant manager's time, everyone's time in the mix. And at the end of the day, we can spit out to you the output. We can show you this is how many you know, non-conformances you had, for instance, in the month. But this is what it truly cost. And that cost might be startling. And, uh, and, 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 and typically in, in companies, um, even if they're doing this, very often it's more of kind of a, a, a paper system. Did I have that right? Yeah, that's right. What happens with a lot of our customers is they come to us from a quality system that's paper-based. It's Excel spreadsheets, it's manual log files, uh, or it might be a, a bunch of separate access databases, and they want to consolidate all of that activity into one place. They want to eliminate redundant data entry because most of them have an ERP system where their jobs and their customers and their POs reside. They don't want to have to retype all that information again. And they're blowing their brains out trying to stay compliant with the ISO standard or AS9100 or other quality standards using a manual system. So we allow all that activity throughout our 19 modules to, to integrate uh, all into one place. You've got one central place to enter the data and then instantly you have metrics, you have reports, you have trending, and you have data integrated from your ERP system. So by offering that type of environment, suddenly customers can measure and set benchmarks as to how much they're spending on quality every month and what, how they want to improve. And over the course of the year, you can run a, a cost of quality trend graph for an entire year that proves that you've saved 50, 60, 100, $150,000 a year by managing your quality in a central, in a central position. Now, Dean, let me, let me ask you this. We have a webinar again. Again, I want to remind everyone out there, Dirk, Dirk brought it up, uh, next Wednesday. September 26th at 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern, and you can sign up for that right below here. Now, Dean, on the webinar, uh, you, your team is going to be uh, chatting with Dirk, and we're going to be presenting uh, some information on Unipoint. Uh, can you briefly tell us about the different modules that you have and, and what they're intended to do and why you assembled those modules and picked those modules to be the ones that you would present to your, your audience, to your customers? Yes, absolutely. Our, our core quality system is made up of modules that we feel apply to every manufacturer and every distributor in the world. They are the ability to manage your non-conformances, all your corrective preventive actions, a complete document control module, a tooling and equipment module where you do maintenance, repair, and calibration on all your inspection tools. Um, we offer a request module, uh, a trending module, a graphical uh, key, uh, key indicators dashboard module. Uh, that's our core system, and again, I think that applies to every type of manufacturer and distributor, regardless of whether they care about being compliant to a quality standard like ISO. And then we're going to show our add-on modules, which are inspection, auditing, health and safety, education and training, uh, supplier management, validation. And these modules take our core system and transform it into a completely complete Environment. So whether you're AS9100 for aerospace or you're certified to automotive standard, uh, you're going to be completely compliant to those standards just by using the product. 
and you'd be able to eliminate all of that redundant data. Well, thank you. Oh. Thanks, Steve. Um, okay, so we're going to learn more about this on um, Wednesday, the 26th of September at, again, 11 a.m. Pacific, 2, 2 p.m. Eastern. You can register. I believe we have a registration link right below the page. Right and below the page. We're going to be chatting with, uh, with the Unipoint team. Dirk's going to be moderating. And uh, uh, so check that one out. If you have some time on Wednesday, be, be sure to register for that and, and come, come aboard and check out that webinar. Yeah, any of you who are still involved in a paper system uh, and want to uh, join the 21st century, <laughs> uh, you might want to look at this. Okay. Dean, thanks for joining us. Thank you, guys. Okay. Thanks, Dean. See you Wednesday.